Hello guys, you're welcome to WebTech Academy. Today we're going to be looking at something new. We're going to be looking at Adobe Illustrator. And on today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to design this amazing visit card, which um, is very easy. I'm not sure I'm going to spend up to 20 minutes on this. And uh, this tutorial is for complete beginners, people that they have never used Adobe Illustrator before. So my only mission right here is to ensure that by the time you are done from here, you should be able to understand everything that has been done on this flyer, on this simple complementary card. You should be able to export it. And we should even be able to prepare it for printing. It's going to be an amazing time. So let's kick start right away. So the first thing first, you need to ensure that you have Adobe Illustrator installed on your computer. Now, this is not enough. After installing Adobe Illustrator, you need to also open it. Opening, opening it is very simple. You start opening any other app, whether Photoshop or any other basic app. Now, now, from there, the next step for you to do is, you have, on this file, you have to come to new. After file, you come to new. So something like this will always show up. The next thing you have to understand is this is the Illustrator ad board. This is the Illustrator ad board. And from here, you have to put new information in respect to, let's assume I wanted to design a product design, maybe for a phone. There's a company that wants to launch a phone and I need to maybe design the phone, the layout and do some mock-ups. Where do I go at? Under here, you see recent, you see save. Save are some files that you have saved before, but I've not uh, been using these guys. So you see there is technically nothing there as at now. So after that, we have to go to mobile. Now, remember what I told you, I want to design a product. Uh, I want to design a product for a company, which this is, these are some phones, you see. So immediately I click here, it's going to automatically give me the dimension. And if I click on create, it will just create for me at once. So well, even if it's a website, you see web page, you know, with Illustrator, too, you can also design welcome page and all the like for, 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 for pages that you want to design or the one that I was designed, they just wanted to replicate. So now the amazing thing about it is, yeah, this is what I'm totally interested in because today we have to go through, uh, illustrator while designing a business card and we are going to print it right but i'm going to show you the step from step one to step two how to prepare it on printing still on adobe illustrator all right let's get going so now it's print and unluckily for me i don't really see the size for printing a visit card so it goes so on you see films films dimension all of them are there so now coming now to this side to this other angle here you see preset details preset details is simply the title of what you want you, you want to create so like for me i want to create a business class so i can say my first business card in i cannot at least my first business card so the next thing that i'm seeing from there is width and dimension now it's gonna be difficult for me to do my width and dimension if i don't set with either on centimeters, millimeters, pixel, and all the like. Well, me, I have to confess, I don't understand pixels very, very well. So what I do understand much is centimeters. So I simply have to click on this guy right here, and you come to centimeters. Once you click on centimeters, the dimensions are going to automatically change. Now, once the change from there, all what we need is just to come from here. What is the dimension for centimeter? What is the dimension for a business card? You've got to know. You've got to know if you don't know it the best thing you can do let's assume that you're a novice i'm also showing you how you can research on other dimensions the best thing that you can do from here is to do what just better get yourself to google and maybe research most of those dimensions so i already know it but let's do it together um let's say business card dimensions you see give the they have given me in um in inches 3.5 by 2 all right let's go with it 3.5 by 2 inches so once you are given that dimension if you come here to new as usual and you click on inches 3.5 by 2 so the width 3.5 the length is 2 then now you see the orientation I make uh, um, when you keep the the, the, the dimensions you automatically tell which uh, orientation it is it is your choice to either change it you see now 
the other thing that you can do is add bots add bot the number of space that you want to design on remember econometric card has a front and a back so i want to design all my at once so the, what i do is i have to come to this add body and i increase it like to one two ten as much as i want but i want just two for this particular work so there are other settings there that you can when you come on the advanced setting there are also settings that you it's good that you know how to run them as well we have cmyk cmyk color is the best color for printing not rgb had it been i was designing for social media purposes i would, I would have chosen on where rgb colors but, had, but now that i am designing on cmyk what do i what am i supposed to do come here then now raster effect is a quality which quality do you want you're working is it medium is it screen is it high well what of us one high thing but always pay into consideration the 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 output of it while well, this one depends if it's over print or just a light on over printing so i'm doing it for settings this one don't count that much so once you are done with this you can i'll just put it on default once you are done with this you can do what you can just click on create and there you go you have a dashboard for printing for for designing your commentary card now the first thing that you will notice from the previous one is that what the files are on yellow which is what we are going to start with now because uh as a graphic designer you need to have your meet your, your your ways that you want to design your work i meet some of my guys when they design they just like put all the information and they start designing luckily enough at the illustrator have some advantages you can carry text and do and put it where you want and after carry it back which i love that so much about adobe illustrator now uh, i just did something now which i believe maybe new people to adobe illustrator might not understand now what i did was control z control z is to undo what you have done and control control shift z is to redo it all right now let's get done so the first thing we're gonna do is get on with our colors so to do this you need the shape tool i use the shape tool there are a lot of tools that you can use to do this There's button or the like but we're gonna use the shape tool today so you have to come to this shape rectangle tool and click on it once you click on it simply come here and draw a shape once you have drawn that shape come to properties on properties look under stroke and deactivate it by coming to this line that is x after that come under field and let's simply click on this yellow we'll use it there you go hope the step was easy to do assuming that everyone is here now let's click let's click ctrl j or command j Oops, that never worked so just simply click on the work and hold shift then drag the work to the other side once you are sure that the, the work is on the dimension that you want and is is feeding to your shape release it that is beautiful now we have released it and it's showing that we are already step two of it so now let's go to the to the next step importing our logo now to import is very very easy come to file click on place and simply locate the logo in the zip file with this video this video has a link under which is the the zip file and even the 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 the, 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 the commentary card uh a raw file like an ed editable file so what you have to do from there is just click on the logo that i want to import and click on place now one nice thing that i want to do is to help you draw where you want it to enter and there is me drawing my own now so we are technically done from our logo already the next step from there is to do it let's click on view after view let's come down to rollers and click on show rollers the shortcut for this is ctrl r now simply click on this line at the edges and drag it without releasing it i 
Are you seeing the magic? I'll explain something and I'll tell you the importance of the line. So just follow these steps that I'm, I'm giving out here. Beautiful. Now, go to ship. I'm assuming that all of us are here already. If not, you can post the video and like we do it. Go to ship and simply just draw a shape on the first one. Then change the color to so maybe black or anything is your choice. Then duplicate it. Control J. If not, just hold and drag it by to the edges. Do the same for others. Make sure that it's at the f I don't know how they call this in Malmati, is it the 180 degrees? <laughs> So just just do same like exactly what I'm doing like this. Then when it comes and you discover that it's not on the shape, what do you do? Simply track it and balance it like this. Now do you get the reason why I was doing it? Now these lines that you see at the corners, this these lines like that, it helps me know that okay, Daniel, as you are designing your work, design it inside the shape. First, so my will make my my work to be aligned it will not only make my work to be aligned it will help excuse me i'm sorry for that it will help um me when i'm printing when i'm printing my work it won't uh disturb me a lot so all i arrange for printing i'll explain more on this the next one is designing this one let's write your name where you are where I'm writing mine, Webn Daniel Prince is my name. Then this font comes along with the Montserrat pack. For you to download Montserrat is a font that we are going we are using on this tutorial. Then if you are a student, write a student. But reduce it to regular. The next thing that we're going to do from there is draw our black shape, which is, it should start from this edge and end at the edge. And if you notice, you see that I'm respecting a line. I expect that you all should do the same. Beautiful, isn't it? The next thing that I'm going to do is just to import copy from here, but make sure that you type it. guy is being stubborn to me you want me to type it anyways let's get it done okay so remember changing colors of this guys is the same just go to properties you see appearance then you change your colors from there Use 5.5 for the size that you want. Oh, isn't mine quite small? This. Let's get it to um, 8. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we have to draw another line. How will this line help us? So that the guy, the other information that we'll put here is going to be on the same line with this. It helps a lot as a graphic designer which I encourage all of us to ensure that we always take advantage of these opportunities that Photoshop is giving us.
Now, one amazing thing I can do in Photoshop is either when you come here to the character session, you can reduce the space within them by coming here and retouching it. You can also do that here. It's your choice. All right, beautiful. What was down there? The website itself. Web Tech Academy. All right, import. I guess we already know how to import. I want to carefully import those shapes and fit them. I will just first of all import all of my own, then I fit that, I arrange the whole part at once. Beautiful. Now, I love doing this. When I'm doing this arrangement, I always love to hold chief. Chief helps a lot. If I'm, for example, if I'm carrying something, I'm going with it this way. Why is it supposed to go back like this? What does chief do for me? As I'm pressing it, chief will help me that if, I'm, if I want to shake it, it should be, so let's say, symmetrical. <laughs> so I'll encourage you guys to get this to what when you want to do displayment. It's, it doesn't only apply to Illustrator, it also applies to other Adobe apps, which is something I love so much about using this digital pack for designing. So let's do same for the other guy. There is our design. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. Let me move these things. There is our design. And if you follow the tutorial keenly, you should be with this level with me by now. Using Adobe Illustrator is one of the best. And using the app is very, very great. And I encourage all of us to take our time, post this video where so ever you feel that you don't understand. Here was what we we're practicing for. And this is where we are at today. I believe it's good and I believe that we'll do better next time. So keep following WebPay Academy, like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any problems, don't forget to WhatsApp us. You can send a sample of your work on our WhatsApp for us to look it through and let us come to an understanding and try to give you some corrections. Thank you very much for loving and following WebTech Academy.